velocity vector applications here is another very interesting question Sarah can paddle a rowboat at 6 meters per second in still water she heads out across a 400 meter river at an angle of 30 degrees upstream she reaches the other bank on the river 200 meter downstream from the direct opposite point from where she started determine the current of the river <clears throat> so here we have given Sarah's direction the velocity width of the river and even the distance she lands up on the other side and we need to find the current of the river that is what it is right so first part is let's try to understand already I have given you the vector diagram let's try to understand that so you need to actually read the question and draw it now here the idea is to make you understand how to draw it so that if you have a similar question you can do it on your own right Sarah can pedal a rowboat at 6 meters per second in still water so we'll say that is the velocity of Sarah she heads out across a 400 meter river so the width of the river let's say this is our river right this is our river so we say the width of the river from here to here is 400 meters so that is this dotted line and let me say point A and this is my point O so A to O is 400 meters she heads out across a 400 meter river at an angle of 30 degrees upstream so the angle is 30 degrees upstream that means this is your 30 degrees angle with the upstream right so that is the angle theta of 30 degrees we're talking about she reaches the other bank of the river 200 meter downstream that means from this point O she reaches at point C which is 200 meters right so this distance is 200 meters from O to C right determine the current of the water so that is what we need to figure out the current of the water right so as you can see so we have two triangles here so we can actually have we have a distance triangle which is right there and the distance triangle says that the width of the river is 400 meters and she lands 200 meters down so we can find this angle theta from our distance vector diagram correct so when we consider this triangle AOC we can say tan of theta is opposite side 200 over 400 correct so we have tan theta equals to 200 over 400 so that implies that theta equals to tan inverse of half right and we can use calculator to calculate this so second function tan inverse and within bracket half we get 26.56 right so we get 26.565 let me write this is better when we are doing trigonometry and if we have to use some angle over and over again I will recommend four decimal places to get very accurate results right so at present we'll go with three decimal places correct so we got this angle theta as 26.565 right now to solve this triangle now we can say if theta is 26.565 then what is this total angle so this total angle will be 30 plus 26.565 so this total angle will be I'll add 30 to it and so I get it is 56.565 so that becomes this total angle right now in this triangle what we have done is we have changed velocities into displacement see how how I'm utilizing the same diagram with the help of velocity making a displacement diagram also right earlier I told you so many times that velocity and displacement diagrams will be similar right because they're directly proportional right here is an example to show you that Sarah can pedal a rowboat at 6 meters per second that means if time t is in seconds then the distance will be 6t 
Therefore, I have written from A to B 6t. So, 6t becomes meters. You understand? Meters per second times second. So, that is in meters. So, that is the displacement AB, right? So, that is how I have converted that into displacement, correct? Now, we will solve this triangle and we will try to find out what is BC, right? So, we know already that in this triangle, we have this angle, here it is 90 degrees, right? And since this is 30 degrees, that angle B is 60 degrees, correct? So, we know this as 60 degrees as our angle. Now, we can use this triangle ABC and we say BC over So, this is BC and the opposite angle to BC is 30 plus theta which is 56.565. BC over sine of 56.565 degrees is equal to 6t. So, we will reuse 6 for the time being because we are considering this vector as let me call this as velocity of water, right? So, velocity we'll write in 6, right? So, we get 6 over this angle. So, how much is going to be this angle? This angle is 180 minus 60 minus 56.565. Let me do that. So, we have this angle as 180 degrees minus 60 degrees minus 56.565 which is equal to let me write down 180 minus 60 minus 56.565 equals to it is let me change the decimals 63.435 so this angle is equals to 63.435 right so this angle is 63.435 so we can write this as sine of 63 point four three five degrees correct now from here we can find what b to c is so b to c is let me write six times sine of fifty six point five six five degrees over sine of sixty three point four three five and we get 6 times sine 56.565 equals to and then we'll divide by sine of 63.435 and we get 5.59 so I'll round it to 5.6 so that is what we get 5.6 right so it is since we are comparing with the velocity so we are comparing with velocity v here, right, which is 6. We use 6 here. So we will write this velocity as 6, correct? So bc represents the velocity of water or water current is equals to 5.6 and the units are meters per second, correct? So that is how we can get the velocity of current or current of the water in the given situation, right? I hope you understand and appreciate this, right? So we have two diagrams here. So one is our displacement diagram, which is triangle AOB. So let me use another ink so that I can show you what we are really doing here. So first over here, we used our displacement diagram and that was this one, right? This is a O C right and we've calculated the angle theta using these two sides this is 200 and this is 400 so that is a displacement diagram and then we utilize the bigger triangle right as our velocity vector diagram correct which was let me draw it here again for you let me draw it like this right so this is your velocity diagram which we utilized so that's the point A, 
this is point B, this is point C and O and here we had 400 which we, we utilized to find theta earlier but the important thing is Sarah can parallel a robo at 6 meters per second so velocity is 6 meters per second right. The trick part here was to calculate all the angles and we calculated this angle to be 56.565 and this angle as 63.435 right so we utilized this angle and the side of 6 and this is our velocity of water going downwards from B to C correct so that is the velocity vector diagram which we utilized to find the velocity of river flowing down streams right so that is how we have solved this problem I hope you understand and appreciate thanks and all the best